Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to perform the experiment related to RPM of motor. Now, what is RPM of motor? RPM stands for rotations per minute. It is also called as speed of the motor. But we need to understand that the speed of the motor and speed of vehicle are different. For the same speed of the motor, we can achieve different speeds of vehicle. Through this experiment, we will try to learn that. For this, we will have to construct a single motor vehicle which travels in a straight line. Why single motor? Because a single motor will drive two wheels on the same axle and that means the vehicle will go in a straight line. Then place the vehicle on ground and mark the place where it touches the ground. Now make use of a stopwatch and move the vehicle for exactly 3 seconds. Now measure the distance travelled. In our case, the distance travelled came to 66.3 cm. Now perform the same experiment by changing the wheels which are attached to the motor via gears. Use the yellow wheel and carry out the same experiment. Now we have recorded our readings and let's go to the recording chart. Now let's put the readings in our chart. For our red wheel we got distances of 66.3 cm in our first turn and 65.7 cm in our second turn. This shows the requirement for taking multiple readings. So when we take average we will be able to reduce the errors. And that is the reason we always take multiple readings. Now we know speed is equal to distance upon time. So the robot speed in our case is 22.1 cm per second for our first reading and 21.9 cm per second for our second reading. Now this is not the motor speed, this is robot speed. Now we want to calculate the motor speed and for that we want to know how many rotations our wheel has done in these three seconds. And to calculate that, we will divide the distance by the circumference of the wheel, red wheel. We have calculated the circumference of red wheel in our last experiment. And we know it is 22 centimeter. And therefore, in three seconds, what we get is three rotations. Because if you see the distance traveled, average distance traveled is 66 centimeter divided by the circumference which is 22 centimeter and that would be three rotations. These three rotations are in three seconds and that means if I multiply this by 20 I will get rotations in 60 seconds that is in one minute and so 3 into 20 is 60 we have 60 rotations per minute and the speed of our motor is 60 rpm. This is how I calculate the speed of the motor. You can see the speed of the motor is different than the robot speed. Now we will perform the same experiment for yellow wheel and write down the readings for yellow wheel. For yellow wheel I get these distances and we can see in same amount of time we have traveled more distance. That means our speed is more so it is 25.2 cm per second in the first and 25 cm per second in the second reading which is more than the robot speed when we had red wheels. We know from our last experiment that the circumference of yellow wheel is 25.1 cm which means in 3 seconds we have taken 3 rotations. 3 seconds 3 rotations that means 60 seconds 60 rotations which means the RPM is still 60. So RPM of the motor is not changed but the speed of the robot is changed by changing the size of the wheel. It is obvious that RPM will not change because we have not changed the motor. But we can see there is a change in the speed for the same motor speed just by adding a wheel which has greater diameter. And this is what we wanted to understand from this experiment. 
rotations per minute of motor has not changed yet the speed of the robot is changed by changing the wheel size i hope you will enjoy doing the experiment carry out your readings see what your readings comes there might be small manual errors but you will see that rpm will be almost same in both the cases